This is the video for the 9th of December, and the title is The Evil in Our Cities. Looking at election results, it is easy to see that there is a concentration of support for Hillary in our big cities. It should come as no surprise, therefore, that it is in our cities that the, pop, that the pedophiles concentrate Folks, these are not only people who sexually abuse children. They often murder them after the abuse. These are very sick people. And what they want most is to remain hidden, keeping their malevolence under wraps. Thank God it's being exposed. I see this as a good thing, even though the mainstream wants to wants those who see and speak out to be labeled as conspiracy theorists. I do agree with Trump that the swamp needs to be drained. Are there enough decent people who are powerful enough to accomplish this? May God help those courageous enough to take a stand for truth and justice. I wrote that several hours ago now. I actually started the blurb for the video after this one uh, as well. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I've got things working on me as far as uh, making videos. But I've been really concerned about this whole election and, and what's going to happen in America. Although David Icke, the video that I just listened to a little while ago with David Icke says it's it's up to us, meaning the regular people. It's not, forget the politicians, it's not up to them. And I'd like to believe that there's truth in that and there would be truth in that if the politicians didn't also control the police forces and the military and so many of, of the, uh, power for power by force uh, structures that control the population. It's not as easy as speaking out. I've been speaking out for a long time. That's why they try to make an example out of me. But the evil is concentrated, as I said, in the cities. That those are the ones that went and in the vote went for Hillary, even in the places where Trump uh, won. And by the way, the, some of the recount uh, results that I've looked at so far don't show Hillary uh, <laughs> gaining at all. Uh, and in fact, uh, one of the states that I guess she won, uh, they're not looking at a recount there, but uh, that's Nevada. Uh, she didn't really win. There was uh, definitely some uh, things that, that weren't, uh, weren't up to snuff and weren't being honest. But then again, nothing in the world of the government is honest. They are run by demons. The government system is run by demons. They don't play by rules, at least not rules that you and I, the average, the average person in the world, would resonate with. Their rules are anything goes. That's why pedophilia runs rampant where they concentrate in places like Washington, D.C. and New York City and uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco and Chicago and the big cities, not just in the United States either. It's all over the world. That's where the concentration of these, uh, these people are. And they do not want to be uncovered. They do not want to be exposed because if they were exposed, their game is up. And that's why they're trying so hard to shut down, uh, shut down websites that tell the truth and shut down people that are telling the truth, why they try to doctor the stuff. They want to keep us in fear. True. David uh, Ike is right that they're, they're trying to get us to be fearful 
and we're not supposed to be afraid because fear is playing right into their, their game, according to David Icke and many others. And I can understand that. I can understand that. And until they came and stole my home from me, but before they even stole my home, they, arre they arrested me for driving without a license at a time that I was sleeping in, be in bed and woke me up at almost midnight. These people do not play by rules that you and I play, play by. And they hold power over us in the threat of violence, in the threat of, of illegal actions against us and unlawful actions against us. Unlawful is the correct word there, actually, not illegal because they make everything that they do somehow legal, although it's all a charade, because nothing they do is lawful. They violate the basic principles of, of law. The basic one, of course, is do unto others as you would have others do unto yourself, and don't do to others what you wouldn't want others to do to you. They don't abide by that. If they did, we could have a peaceful world, couldn't we? We wouldn't have all of the craziness and insanity that we have to put up with in this illusory, according to some people, reality. Is it an illusion? Yeah, scientifically you could make the case that it's an illusion, but the experience of an illusion is still real experience from each individual's point of view who is experiencing it. And they have to brainwash people in order to you get them to not see it. It's all a, a thing of, of subtle brainwashing and ma manipulation and mind control of our perception of reality so that we don't see ourselves as powerful. I agree with David Icke, but the truth is until enough of us speak up together, and get on the same team and stop fighting each other. That's what they want to do. They want to pit us against each other. If we would stop doing that and listen to one another, we're not all going to have the same religion. We're not going to have all have the same uh, way of seeing things because we all see things through our, through our experience. And we have to somehow get to the place where we love to listen. And we love to love. We love to hear what the other person is saying and not fight them, but try to understand and get to the bottom of it. The concentration of, of evil in our cities is the concentration in our collective consciousness, if you will, that has been programmed for eons, generation after generation, for eons of time. And somehow, folks, somehow there needs to be a purging. Somehow there needs to be some force that's powerful enough to accomplish a real shift, a real anti-adromia, an anti a reverse flow of energy from the control grid to a freedom movement that works. We need to do that, not just in our cities, but everywhere where humanity lives, everywhere where we exist, we need to change the paradigm. We need to change the reality because without it, there is no hope as I see it. There is no hope. And I don't personally, as one man, know how to do any more than what I'm doing with the abilities that I now have and the capabilities that I now have. I do thank you, those of you that listen, those of you that pray for me. I physically, I am going through a tremendous challenge as I've been saying. I don't have a lot of energy. Uh, my feet seem to be getting worse, not better. Uh, anyway, thank you for listening and God bless you. Namaste.